Okay, so I'm going to show, be showing you how to handle your booty dragon. Uh, I'm doing this because I had a couple requests not on bearded, how to handle your booty dragon, but like all the requests on like leopard gecko setup, and I thought I'd make this video. Just before I make a couple more videos. So, usually you take them out of their cage but with both hands. But since I'm right next to his cage and I can't really open his cage because then the tank will, like, this part of the tank right here will melt with this burning hot light. So, you want to hold them like this. You have to have full support of your legs and your arms. And you'll see if they're comfortable. If they're Wait, he's he's really tame, so if they start to like fidget around like he is now, means they're uncomfortable. You can handle them with one arm, but you have to use the rest of your arm. So for example, they'll hold on to your arm. And you probably want to trim their nails. Uh a lot. My bearded dragon's nails are usually trimmed. I don't always trim them. He's pretty big now. I, th I believe he's about 20 inches. So he's, you know, going to be big. And he doesn't really like going back in his cage. I think he enjoys, like, me holding him. Uh, so we're going to put them on the ground. Always watch them. You never know where they can crawl. And, you know, just let them relax on you. They might climb on you if they're babies. If they're babies, you have to handle them every single day if you want them tame. Same with adults, if they're not tame. If they bite, every time they open their mouth, give them some food uh, so they know your hand's good and they're not going to get hurt or anything. And hand feeding is a great way to tame them. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye. Wait, um, if you want to learn how to leopard gecko handle, just go on Angie Reptiles 101. Okay, bye. <laughs>